Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukah Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. Shalom. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar'ala from the GMS Italia camp. And I'm here with a quick one. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying. So, as we know what time it is, well, anyway, um, maybe someone might be watching this video for the first time. The name of the Most High, the power of Israel, the God of Israel, is Yahweh. He has a name, okay? His name is Yahawa, which means he is, okay? And is the name of his only begotten son, our savior, who the world ignorantly called Jesus is Yahawa Shai, okay? He, he saves, that's the meaning, okay? The most high Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem means in the name, okay? So, anyway, I just, wanted to share a quick thought on this book of second mark beast chapter three it's a story that actually happened okay and i just wanted to liken it to these days that we're about to get into these days we started getting into so for some of you who might not understand what's going on you know it's high time you really start praying for the most high yahweh bashem shai to waken your inner spirits you know to give you eyes to see, to wash you clean with eyes up, so you can see and understand and get understanding. So you can you can move as a wise, but and not as a fool, redeeming the time. Like the book of um Ephesians 5:15 says. Excuse me, because the days are really evil, man. A lot of crazy things are really about to happen. And this winter is really going to be a dark winter excuse me this winter is going to be a dark winter okay but those who put their trust in the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai their strength will be refreshed you know those who put their trust in the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai would have the spirit to withstand any situation and those who put their trust in the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai overall would expect and receive miracles you know so that's why it's important to seek the most high yahweh Hashem Shai in these times that we still have the possibility to seek him you know because as the book of isaiah tells you you know this truth shall be the stability of our times so those who don't really know the most high yahweh Hashem Shai who have not sought for his truth now that they have the possibility which this this truth is flowing like a fountain of living water never stopping you know different videos different edifications coming from all parts of the world myself i'm i'm, I'm reaching out from from italy okay and we have brothers all around the world we have brothers in germany in finland we have brothers in holland we have brothers in um in, um, in the United States, you know, Babylon the Great. We have brothers in um, in Peru, in Mexico, in Santa Domingo, in Nigeria, in Tanzania. We have a, a brother or two brothers in Saudi Arabia, you know, teaching this truth. This truth that we learn from the from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone GMS, you know, and this brings back, you know, the book of um, Matthew that tells you that this truth shall be preached in all all the world and then the end shall come we are actually at the end so anyway with without further ado this is the book of second mark bees chapter 3 i'll start from verse 7 now when apollonius came to the king and had showed him of the money whereof he had he was told 
The king chose out Eliodorus, his treasurer, and sent him with a commandment to bring him the foresaid money. So what happened was the Israelites, you know, in Jerusalem, they had some fund that they kept aside to help the, the, the widows, the poor, you know. And this king, Apollonius, no, the king, the king actually got information about this money, this gold, because the, really, the, 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 the Israelites were really rich, you know. They had treasures, you know. So he got, he got actually, he got jealous about this and he wanted to steal off this, this, this money. Okay, so he sent, he sent his treasurer, whose name is Eliodorus. Okay, he sent him to go down to, to Jerusalem to take this money by force, you know. Because then we were actually sort of kind of like nearly powerless. We didn't have a strong military to fight back. So they thought they could do whatever they like because we were actually under their rule. So going forth, so forth, so forth with Eliodorus took his journey under a color of visiting the city of Tilosadia and Phineas, but indeed to fulfill the king's purpose. And this is just to let you know how those people move, you know, they move subtly, you know. So he took his journey with the intention, you know, with the intention actually of going to fulfill the king's will, which is that of, you know, going down to Jerusalem and taking by force the riches of the Hebrew Israelites, you know, the Jews, you know. So but what happened was, you know, he went under the color of visiting the city of Telosiria and Phineas, which are very close. And when he, he was come to Jerusalem and had been cautiously received of the high priest of the city, he told him what intelligence was given of the money and declared wherefore he came and asked if these things were so indeed. And the high priest told him that there was such money laid up for the relief of widows and fatherless children. So when he, when he got to, to Jerusalem, he asked from the high priest if these things were true, that he heard that there was certain money that they had. So the high priest explained to him and told him it was true and told him that this money was actually set aside for widows and fatherless children. Okay. And... What happened next and that some of it belonged to Ericanus, son of Tobias a man of great dignity and not as that wicked Simon as misinformed to um, to to for your information this so-called Simon was the one who informed the king about this fund that they had kept aside this great money okay he was of the stock of Israel okay and he, he was actually a wicked israelite so he was working as an intelligence for for for, for this king the sum whereof in all was 400 talents of silver and 200 of gold that was so much because and this also show you that the real the real the real the real money is gold and silver you can add also bronze to it but so gold and silver were the real money. So this money that you're actually seeing in this kingdom right now is just fiat money. It means nothing. It's just a receipt. Okay. That means nothing. And all this is coming to a huge destruction very soon. And all those who put their hearts in these treasures, in this, um, how should I put it? Illu illusions. Okay. Because this the money in this kingdom your dollar bills, your euro, your your ones and all the rest, they are only but illusions, you know. They are nothing, actually nothing, vanity, you know. So those who put their trust in these, you know, lay themselves down, you know, to take the juice, the Vicky juice, you know, which is going to make them, you know, take the next step, what's coming, Marcos, okay, the MO, you know. So I did, I did, um, I did a slide yesterday. I put together a video yesterday. That's the last video I posted on my channel, you know, letting you know what's, what are nanomedicines, you know, 
so you can go look at that video and know what's going to go into your body if you if you if you if you decide to 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 to, to go into a relationship with Vanessa you know the Vicky juice if you if you decide to to drink the Vicky juice you know so anyway going back to the story and that it was altogether impossible that such wrongs should be done unto them that had committed it to the holiness of the place and to the majesty and inviolable sanctuary of the temple honored over all the world so this money was actually you know kept in the holy temple but Eliodorus, because of the king's commandments given him said that in any wise it must be brought into the king's treasury so he went on with his agenda which was given to him by the king and just to bring out a point you know you see all these um all these you know help ministers you know all these people that you see this so-called um presidents you know prime ministers and all these people they are not doing the bidding of the people they do the bidding of those who sent them who are the so-called invincible rulers of this kingdom rulers of this world you know the the the, the banking families the bowers who actually changed their name to brought what's child you know the hope and you know these are the seed of the wicked esau biblical nationalities esau edom you know and they know they don't have that much time and they know what their destiny is actually is their destiny is destruction you know it has been it has it has been proclaimed by the monster yaba they are actually the seed of the wicked so what they're actually doing is before the return of his son, Yahweh Shai, they're trying to, you know, to own everyone. So the most high Yahweh Shai wouldn't see anyone to redeem when he comes back. But the faithful are going to walk as wise and not as fool. They're going to redeem the time. They're going to they're going to discipline themselves for what's about to come. Call on the true names, which is Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and be humble about it, praying for protection in these times that is about to come in man so so at the day which he appointed he entered in into order this matter wherefore there was no small agony throughout the whole city but the priest prostrating themselves before the altar in their priest vestment called unto heaven upon him that made a law concerning things given to to be kept that it should safely be preserved for such as had committed them to be kept then Uso had looked the high priest in the face it would have wounded his heart for his countenance and the changing of his color declared the inward agony of his mind so the israelites you know when they knew that you know eliodorus was going to come in and take in those riches take out those riches no matter what they were really sad about it you know the high priest was his, 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 his countenance actually changed whosoever looked at his face would see that he was wounded in his heart you know for the man was so compassed with fear and horror of the body that it was manifest to them that looked upon him what sorrow he had now in his heart so those who looked at the high priest you know they saw that his he was he was overcome with horror of the body manifested in his face you know and this is just to compare with what's about to come in what we're about we're about to go into you know now we are not many many are not happy about what's about to come in man many brothers are going to lose their jobs you know it's not something to really be happy about but in the spirit we're happy because these things are only for the flesh man and we know that you know our power yahweh but Hashem Yahushai, whatever it takes, whatever we lose for his sake, you know, we get a hundredfold, man. So we are not sad the way other people are sad, you know. We have some kind of, you know, comfort in our heart that, yeah, these times are getting closer. Salvation is close. Yahushai said, when you shall see these things, know that salvation is close, you know. So, 
things are really going to start getting more harder you know these devils are actually coming in you know coming in to take everything you have from you you know Others ran flocking out of their houses to the general supplication because the place was like to come into contempt and the women got with sackcloth under their breast abounded in the streets and the virgins that were kept in ran so to the gates and some to the wall and others looked out of the windows and all these, these wicked women in this kingdom right now you know being so proud being so boastful you know, you know, drunk with this, um, f with this feminism juice, you know, these wicked heaves, you know, you're about to be brought low very soon, you know, because when all hell breaks loose, you will be humbled. Esau doesn't really give a fuck about anybody. And excuse my Italian, you know, so when all hell breaks loose, these women are going to be humbled. So the daughters of um, the daughters of Israel, you know, they all went out, you know, with sackcloth, you know, they were all sad in just short words, and all holding their hands towards heaven made supplication. Okay, then it would have pitied a man to see the falling down of the multitude of all sorts and the fear of the high priest being in such an agony. Then they called upon the Almighty Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to keep the things committed of trust safe and sure for those that had, com had committed them. You know. So you see, in such a situation, what did they do? They didn't feel helpless, you know, because they 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 they, they actually they actually went into into their humble mode, man. And they all lifted their voices to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, you know, and prayed to the Most High to help them. And this is what we're meant to do in that situation when we find ourselves helpless, man. Whenever we find ourselves helpless, know that that's the moment you're going to really get a miracle, man. That's the moment in which you need to go into your humble mode Call on the Most High Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai and have that faith that is going to be there for you, man. Remember, the Most High Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai is not going to give you any. Is not going to give you any any trials that are stronger than you, man. Whatever comes your way, He has given you the ability and the spirit to overcome. Call on His names, you know. Many people are going to be worried of how they're going to eat when all hell breaks loose. Many are going to be worried about where they're going to sleep or whatever, you know. Hey, this is the time you should be raising your voice to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, praying for His protection, praying for His miracle. This is the time now. Nevertheless, Eliodorus executed that which was decreed because at the end of the day, these people, no matter how, no matter what you do to go against this, um, these decrees that are being made, you know, you know, you have lots of people going, going out and doing different sorts of rallies, you know, against these laws. Like here in Italy, you know, people protested, people came out and do some stops, but, you know, it seems like the more they came out to protest, the more the more these laws were just going like they don't give a flying f about anybody man they just do what they have to do because they are instruments in the hands of the most high yahweh Hashem, yahweh shai and once people don't understand this man they are lost your protest your whatever is not going to stop anything from happening man because these are things that are already written that they must happen it's the movie, man. It's the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai directing this movie. And as he has decreed, such is going to happen, man. So these people actually, in their minds, you know, how foolish Esau could be. He believes that he's the one doing all these things by himself. But he doesn't know that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has created him for this purpose, you know. Created some, some, some verses 
unto honor and some unto dishonor. You know, how can a how can a axe, you know, boast against his, his owner? You know, a axe cannot chop down a tree without the owner using it, man. And this is just what Esau is like. Esau is the axe, but he's doing stuff and he believes he's the one actually working by himself, but he doesn't know it's someone applying force and making that axe chop down a tree, you know? But he's going to go only that far and the most tired about Hashem Yahushai is going to destroy him, you know? At that moment, they're about to fill their belly, then destruction shall suddenly come, you know, as written in the book of Job. Now, as he was there, present himself with his guard about the treasury, the Lord of Spirits, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and the Prince of all power caused a great apparition so that all that presumed to come in with him were astonished at the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai and fainted and were so afraid. For there appeared unto them an us with a terrible rider upon it and adorned with a very fair covering and he ran fiercely and smote at Eliodorus with his four feet and it seemed that he that sat upon the oars had complete harness of gold. Moreover, two other young men appeared before him, notably in strength, excellent in beauty and comely in apparel, who stood by him on either side and scourged him continuously and gave him many sore stripes. And this is how the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to intervene. Okay, in those who put their trust on him, those who open their hearts and call on him sincerely, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, those who open their hearts to call on the Most High Yahweh in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you know, is going to intervene at that moment where they would need help. So what happened was when when he was going, you know, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai sent angels, you know, so they saw they saw this angel you know they saw these angels you know as you can see they had beautiful apparel man you know and what did they do they scourged they started flogging beating up Eliodorus, you know so people don't believe that miracles can still happen man this is a proof you have all different sorts of proofs in the bible i did the one regarding shedrach meshach and abednego you know remember daniel when he was thrown into a lion's den you know this is the same power that we are calling upon today and we are expecting these miracles man and we know it would not forsake us as written he that dwells in the secret place of the most high yahweh Hashem yahushai shall abide under the shadow of the almighty so dwelling in the secret place is this truth this secret place is this truth this name his name and his son's name that are kept secret from many you know and once you dwell in a secret place, man, you shall abide under the shadow, under the shadow of the Almighty Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Nothing would be able to hurt you. Nothing will be able to come your way and stop you, man. So now let's listen to what this, what this Eliodorus said after getting so much stripes from the from the angels, and Eliodorus fell suddenly onto the ground and was compassed with great darkness. But they that were with him took him up and put him into a litter. Thus him that lately came with a great train and with all his guard into the said treasury, they carried out being unable to help himself with his weapon and manifestly they acknowledged the power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. So as you can see, someone who came shortly with his with his with his um with his guards, with his trains, with his with his with his military you know they came in proudly you know they wanted to carry away the treasure of the sons of israel you know the letter ended up being carried away <laughs> and this is the power of yahweh Shem Yahushai. he's going to put our enemies into shame you know at that moment they believe they're about to fill their belly then the most high yahweh Shem Yahushai will strike the so-called devils ruling this kingdom man Esau, Edom, so-called white man, man. His devil is ruling this kingdom 
at that moment when they believe their nwo is going to stand then the most i will bring destruction on them that's why we are also expecting power men we are going to be the battle axe of the most high yahweh shemi Shai. he's going to make us fly like eagles he's going to give us these angelic powers and will be this scourging onto these people he's going to make of us some threshing instruments you know we're going to break this our enemies we're going to break them into pieces like pots of clay you know expect this power because this power is coming this is the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai the power of jacob the power of israel man the power of isaac abraham the power of elijah the power of daniel man Let's go on. And when the most I, you know, scourges our enemy, they would they would acknowledge the fact that we truly are the sons of the most I Yahweh Shemi Shai, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos who are kept in the below, in the lowest in the society, you know, catching all different kinds of hell, man. For he by the hand of Yahweh was cast down and lay speechless without all hope of life. But they praised the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai that had miraculously honored his own place. For the temple, which a little afore was full of fear and tremble, when the Almighty Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai appeared, was filled with joy and gladness. You know, these people were sad, you know. And this is just what it is, you know, we're about to go into that difficult straits, man. That hard time, man. But at the end, we're going to rejoice, man. That's why our bodies would, would our bodies would need to change, man, because our bodies now cannot contain the joy we're going to receive, man. Men will be fainting, men will be fainting every second if our bodies were not changed, man. Because you would not be able to contain all the joy. The happiness when we see when we are being beamed into those chariots man then straight ways concern um then straight ways certain of Eliodorus' friend prayed onias which was the priest that he would call upon the most high yahaba shem yahushai to grant him his life who lay ready to give up the ghost so this Eliodorus was scorched so hard in the way that he was about to give up his ghost and they prayed they prayed they begged the the, the priest you know to pray to the most high yahweh shemi Shai to to give him back his life man so the high priest suspecting lest the king should mis misconceive that some treachery had been done to eliodorus by the jews offered a sacrifice for the health of the man so the high priest did he, he sensed that if if he, he would have allowed this Eliodorus die you know the message might get to the king and the king might think that these jews actually did some treachery you know but when he sensed that he wanted to let this man go back and be of a mouthpiece to that king himself and let him know that the power yahweh bahashem yahweh shai of israel truly lives and is not to be messed around with, you know. So he offered a sacrifice. Now, as the high priest was making an atonement, the same young man in the same clothing appeared and stood beside Eliodorus. These are the angels, saying, "Give Onias the high priest great thanks, and so much as for his sake, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai hath granted thee life, you know. And seeing that thou hast caused." Thou hast been scorched from heaven. Declare unto all men the mighty power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And when they had spoken these words, they appeared no more. So these angels actually came to Eliodorus and told him to go and thank this priest who he was at the beginning rude to, you know. So he said he should go and thank him, you know. And he should go and proclaim that, you know, <laughs> the power of the sons of Israel. Yahweh Shem Shai is alive, man, and it's terrible. So now let's listen to Eliodorus' um, testimony. 
So Eliodorus, after he had offered sacrifice unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Aoshai, and made great vows unto him that had saved his life, and saluted Onias, returned with his hosts to the king. Then testified he to all men the works of the great power Yahweh Shemi Aoshai, which he had seen with his eyes. And when the when the king Eliodorus, who might, and when the king Eliodorus, who might be a fit man, actually. The, the thing said, when the king asked, asked Eliodorus, who might be a fit man to be sent yet again, once again to Jerusalem, he said, so the king asked Eliodorus, who should we send to <laughs> Jerusalem? Who is going to carry out this job well? You know, listen to what Eliodorus said. Eliodorus said, if thou hast an enemy or traitor, send him thither. And thou shalt receive him well scourged, if he escape with his life. For in that place, no doubt, there is an especial power of God, you know. <laughs> so he told the king, well, if you have an enemy or a traitor, if you have anyone you don't wish well, man, send him there, man. You shall receive him well scourged, if he will escape with his life, you know. And this is the same thing that is about to come, man. These people are going to... <laughs> they're going to they're going to they are going to hail and bow man because Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is about to give his elect power and we are praying humbly humbly you know praying to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahusha that we are counted amongst that number man when we get that power we're going to break these people down and they're going to confess with their tongue like man what the freak man you know, for he that dwelleth in heaven had his eyes on that place and defended it, and he beat it and destroyed them that came that come to hurt it. So, you know, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. You know, we are the we are the we are the we are the apple of the eyes of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai has his eyes on us. Yes, the times we're about to go into are really going to be terrible. They're really going to be hard, difficult. But hey, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is quick to save, man. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is able to give you a miracle at that moment when you don't have food, at that moment when you don't have water, at that moment you don't have shelter, at that moment you find yourself surrounded by the enemies. Remember. The Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai would never leave you. Now there is a scripture that says, you know, ask of them of old, you know. Ask, ask about day of old. Is there anyone who ever trusted in the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and was disappointed? The answer is no. I hope this lesson was a define. I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Ruka Kudash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom.